Welcome back to my morning report, Charles Prozers on Thursday the 30th of April with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets. Moving on to the euro, and this euro has been on a staggering run higher in the past 24 hours. Uh, following on from that um, GDP data that we had that was so disappointing from the US, that euro has been on an absolute tear up higher. Um, it's now another 100 pips up on the day. It, was, it closed, ultimately closed 150 points up yesterday and another 100 points up as we speak today. It's burst through all this big resistance, this big long-term resistance at, um, from March and April highs around uh, 1035, 1050. It's burst well through that, also well through the, the resistance at 11, uh, 1 euro, 11 big figure as well. And it doesn't really look as though it's turning back at the moment. Um, just go quickly on to the intraday because I got very excited actually early on this morning. I was I was doing my uh, analysis of this and I, I saw that um, this pivot level, sorry, this um, Fibonacci level of uh, of the breakout, that sort of flag breakout that I spoke about yesterday, Consolidated around the 100% breakout, which is the flag target, and then look at this: the the 161.8% fib level was at um, around that sort of 1190 area. And yesterday, we saw that move pretty much nailed the high um, of that move. So I was getting excited by that, but then today uh, we've had this again another huge run higher in the last hour or so, where the euro has just completely taken off once again. Um, up 100 points in the past hour and a bit and uh, it certainly looks as though the um, the bulls are really in control here now um, I think closing today above that 1 euro 11 figure which certainly it seems to be the case at the moment I think that would confirm this breakout and it, it's again we're now into the realms of this of this sort of uh, old consolidation range between 1260 and up towards uh, 115 sort of 40 area so about 250 300 uh, pips worth of resistance there but certainly there was a bit of uh, a chop bit of chop around that in February so that is the resistance band that we're now starting to look at uh, for this euro on the upside, but it certainly looks the strength of this move is just incredible. Um, it looks like a bit. I, I'd imagine that um, it's been some fairly worried short positions being closed in the last 24 hours, um, and uh, that's probably driven this part of the drive for this euro higher. Interesting that we're now beginning to see the RSI come towards 70 on this daily chart, and that's the highest since October 2013. Wow. Uh, that would be so um, as that's the highest since the big euro sell-off started and is that a big is that a sign in itself the fact that the euro is starting to sort of turn around um, it certainly looks like this big um, this arguably this big base pattern has completed now a uh, move above 150 and we could easily see sort of further gains towards that high of uh, fifteen forty. I think on a on, on a longer term basis. Interesting that the uh, the one hundred and forty four day moving average is still quite a long way up though at sixteen eighty. So uh, just bear that in mind. But at the moment, certainly this euro rally is on the on the move. MACD line still below neutral. So you, I'm not going to get too um, long term positive about the euro. I'm still thinking that uh, ultimately the euro is likely to fall back again. It's just that this rally has took, I mean it has taken me by surprise I'll be honest with you. And it's gone a long way further than I thought it would. I, I, I saw that it was probably going to start to peter out around that 11 area 11 big figure but it certainly burst through that considerably um, it'll be very interesting to see if it can now sort of start to build support above 1 euro 11 because I think if that is the case then you can start to you can sort of still think about further upside but it'll, um, the next couple of days I think could be important for this rally because it needs to hold on to these gains that it has now developed um, so uh, yeah very important so initial support Come it comes as uh, that breakout high one eleven eighty seven, and then obviously yesterday's low um, or reaction low that we had after that GDP date. Uh, sorry, after the um, FOMC data uh, or statement. Sorry, um, one ten seventy, uh, which uh, was again tested this morning and held. So one uh, one ten seventy is that support. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading in Europe. Lots going on, lots driving these markets um, and a lot of volatility. So I wish you good luck and I'll speak to you later, I think.